So first of all, how big a deal of this is it for SpaceX? Uh, it's, it's an enormous deal. I, I think you have to sort of look at it in the context, though, of what Elon Musk considers to be a success, which is essentially if it didn't explode on takeoff, uh, then that was basically, you know, that was a win. That was great. So the fact that it did take off successfully, it did manage to put its car into orbit, and it did manage to return two of its boosters back to Earth at the same time, which has never been done before by anyone. It's a, it's a huge win. It's a massive success. Are there any other companies or other countries that are trying to do the same? I mean, they're basically taking on government. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, the US, China, Russia, like everyone has the capability of, of, of launching large amounts into, into orbit. Um, but the problem is that none of them can take anything quite as heavy as what, uh, as what SpaceX is, can now take. You know, this is it's way out of, you know, the class of what like the NASA shuttles can do uh, or any of, uh, you know, any of SpaceX's launches last year, which I think they did about 18, maybe 20 launches. So it's, yeah. I mean, the pictures are just absolutely amazing. What else was the rocket carrying? Uh, well, it was carrying uh, a Tesla Roadster, um, you know, the, one of Elon Musk's first models. Uh, it was carrying a copy or a digital copy of one of Isaac Asimov's novels or collections of novels. Um, and, you know, the really interesting thing about it is that, you know, this is going to be s sort of spinning in orbit around Earth and Mars for about a billion years, potentially. And there's the tiniest little chance that in a few hundred million years, it might crash into Mars. So if we do end up colonizing the red planet in future, we sort of be mindful that it might one day rain cars.